What's going on y'all? Today we are going to be talking about one of the newest kayaks to hit the market. This is the Hammerheads Kayak Whale Shark. This is one of the largest kayaks that have pedals, pedal drive kayaks, at one of the most affordable prices. So we're going to be doing a stability test, a speed test, and maneuverability test out here on the water. But before we do that, we're just going to go walk through the kayak real quick. I'm going to show y'all all the features of this kayak and uh, yeah, just show you what this thing can do. All right, so this is the Whale Shark by Hammerhead Kayaks. I'm gonna walk y'all through it, just kind of starting at the bow, and then we're just gonna ease our way back. But starting up here at the bow, we got a rugged handle right here, so if you gotta carry, lift that kayak, load it up in your truck, you got one sturdy piece right there to uh, pick it up with. You have a tri-hole design. I'll show y'all the back of this as well, which is gonna add a ton a stability to this kayak uh, but yeah we got a little bungee right here if you need to slide your paddle secure something right there and then up front you have a little storage system if you needed to put a tackle tray right here some tackle in here if you wanted to put some ice or your fish in here you could do that uh, so this also has a scupper if you get a little bit of water in here your water can drain out a little scupper hole Go ahead and slide that back in there. And that just secures with these little latches right here. So moving on forward, we got track systems for all your mounts. If you wanna put rod holders, fish finders, anything like that, you can secure them to your track mounts. Also have four rod holders right here. So if you're unhooking a fish, you can set your rod right there handle your fish, pick your rod back up, good to go. Now you do have your pedal drive system right here, which just snaps in. You got two little clips down here and you can pull that out. Now one of the cool things about this kayak is although right now we have a fin style drive, you can interchange that with a propeller style drive. So you can get your reverse or anything like that. Uh, you can pretty much just swap these drives out like I said, we got the fins in here now, but you can swap that out real easy and uh, get you a propeller style drive. Comes with two different options, fin or propeller, like I said. Uh, but yeah, moving forward, we have storage right here. So if you have any kind of tackle or anything you want to store right here beneath you, you can easily get to it, phone, wallet, keys, stuff like that lock that back down in place now here is your seat that you're going to be sitting in you got straps right here so if you want to bring that seat in give you a little bit more lumbar support you can tighten that strap down or you can loosen them up kind of relaxed position lean back a little bit you got tracks that these are laying on you can put gear and things like that if you want to use this track system uh, to put, put extra gear on but it's designed to loosen that seat up if you want to bring that seat forward to get you closer to your pedals or push it back if you got some longer legs so fully adjustable seat right there you also have three positions that you can adjust this seat to so it's in a high position right now as you see there's three notches right here so all i got to do is pick up on that seat i can drop it down into the middle position or like i have right now in the low position you also have some rugged carrying handles right here. All of this is one whole design, so uh, you don't gotta worry about anything breaking or snapping off of there. Very rugged handles. Cup holder, more tackle trays. Y'all, this kayak is loaded down uh, to manage your gear and tackle. I mean, there's just a lot of organization ability uh, with this kayak. I love how they got tackle tray bins right here So if you can stack two or three tackle trays right there. But yeah moving on back You got two more rod holders right behind you so you can store four rods right there You got more gear tracks right here So if you got any kind of flags lights or anything like that you want to put here You can do that also comes with this bungee So if you want to put a crate back here secure that crate down with a bungee you can do that as well all right, let's move around to the other side real quick. So you got your rudder handle right here. So you can steer that rudder handle left and right. We are gonna be testing out the maneuverability and the rudder system a little bit later on. But yeah, 
there's your rudder handle you got a huge storage area right here so if you want to put a big cooler back here it's going to fit uh you got a fish bag anything like that you want to put two crates maybe you have a battery for a trolling motor all sorts of space here to put whatever you want um also so you have ports right here now these do have gaskets on them so if you get water in this area it's not going to allow that water to leak into your hole but you can unscrew this port as well as this port under here and you can fully access this kayak if you want to run wires for your fish finders uh trolling motors lights anything like that you don't have to cut into the kayak all you gotta do is unscrew these ports lift that out and you'll be able to get your hand in there and work inside the hole so that's pretty cool as well you do have your drain plug in the back as well as two quarter 20 mounts right here also if you got some lights or flags that you want to screw in there and uh, kind of have them hanging off the bow you do have those quarter 20 mounts right there all right and then on the back you do have three rugged handles right there good lifting points uh this kayak does come in at 110 pounds so if y'all are wondering the weight of the kayak it is 110 pounds the length is 13 feet and it is 37 inches wide so really really big kayak also down on the bottom i want to show y'all that through hole kind of try hole system right there so it's tunneled out which is going to give you a lot of secondary stability and then also on the bottom of the kayak you have a transducer port so if you want to mount your fish finder or anything like that you can just mount it up under there it's got a spot for it to be tucked away uh, where you're not going to damage your your transducer your fish finder the last thing i'm going to show y'all before we put this thing in the water is the rudder so this is your rudder system right there you see it's kind of moving back and forth as you steer it but you got this pin you pull that pin out boom your rudder drops down so if i'm running my kayak and i run over any kind of stumps logs run on shallow water it's spring loaded so it's going to tuck away just like that right there and you don't have to worry about damaging your rudder so that's pretty much everything on this kayak as far as the features are concerned we're about to go ahead drop this thing in the water i'm going to show y'all how fast it goes how well it steers and the overall stability of the kayak right, let's go ahead and pull this thing off into the water just like that go ahead and hop in her and test her out get kicked off here with my paddle all right so the first thing we're going to do is just kind of cruise around get a little bit comfortable with it uh just kind of fill it out this is my first time in this kayak so y'all are seeing my first impressions of it but it feels like we got a really decent cruising speed right here which i will pull out a speedometer and give y'all the actual speed readings of this kayak but first thing we're going to do we're going to go ahead and stand up and uh, test out the stability so here we go oh yeah that's nice y'all i am 300 pounds well 290 call it what you want we'll go ahead and round up 300 pounds and uh i am very stable and i'm sitting here rocking with it right there feel very comfortable so overall the stability of this kayak is just amazing which that's one of the things you're going to get out of a bigger wider kayak you're going to you might lose a little bit of speed and efficiency but you're going to gain the stability and also the ability to just have a lot of storage points i got stuff i can store up front i can store whatever i need behind me let's see i can reach around like i said at 290 pounds i can fully reach around and get anything i need to get in the back right there lots of storage i mean ton of storage yeah i say i would give the stability on this thing a nine out of ten i mean the stability is just amazing all right now we're going to do a maneuverability test just kind of work the rudder see what kind of turning radius we have get her going real quick i'm gonna go ahead and turn her left I would say that's pretty decent responsiveness right there out of a kayak this size 
I would say the steering is pretty good. What you got with that drop down rudder, you got a lot of surface space right there that's able to get that water to push you around. They also make it a bigger rudder system. So if you feel like the stability or the uh, maneuverability is not as good, your turning is not what you want it to be, you can upgrade the rudder. But I would say out the box, that's good. Out of a kayak this size, I mean, it's very responsive. All right, so I pulled out my speedometer right here. I'm gonna give y'all the speed test of this kayak. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is kind of just a leisurely pace. Then we're gonna do a jog and then we're gonna do a sprint. So just kind of leisurely pace. This is just me cruising, easing around, relaxed fishing, not in a hurry, moving from spot to spot. So we got it somewhere around two, two and a half right now. And that's just my leisure pace. All right, so we got it to two miles an hour. Now we're gonna increase to a jog. Now this is a pace that I could probably hold 10, 15 minutes, just kind of jogging, trying to get to my next spot. Maybe uh, I'm in a tournament or something. I'm kind of got a little bit of a hurried pace, but I don't want to burn myself out. We're looking to get this thing to maybe around a sustained three miles an hour, which I would say that we're at three right there. This is a pace that I could hold easily for 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes getting to my next spot. So we're bouncing between two and three, so it's just on the edge of three miles an hour. Now, we're gonna get this thing into a sprint. So sprint is a pace that I can hold for about, I don't know, three minutes, four minutes. Maybe I'm trying to outrun another angler. Maybe the storm popped up something like that i feel like we're going pretty good right there see a little bit of wake behind me pushing three can we get it to four can we get it to four boom sprinting three four miles an hour bouncing between three and four all right coming up right here let's uh he may slow down for us but if he doesn't we're going to get to see what kind of stability we have uh facing a little bit of waves see if he throws a little wake all right so that is the speed maneuverability and stability test all in all this is a solid solid machine at the price i know i have not told y'all what the price is so this kayak out the box, as you see it right here is $16.99. So that is an amazing, I cannot stress that. That is an amazing price for a kayak this size. There is no kayak on the market that has interchangeable drives, fin, pedal systems, whichever you prefer, uh, the storage, the width, the length, the size of this kayak, there is not another kayak on the market at this price. And if there is, please comment below. I'd love to go check it out because I personally have not seen one. So I would say all in all, if you're looking to get into uh, fishing kayaks and you wanna go the pedal route and you're a bigger guy like myself, I would say this is definitely an option for y'all. $16.99, that's an amazing price point. And uh, what you're getting is just an awesome, awesome fishing kayak that will allow y'all to get out on the lakes, the creeks, the rivers, uh, and do whatever y'all need to do to put fish in the boats. If this is something that you're interested in and that you wanna go pick up, uh, I'm gonna leave all the information down in the description, uh, phone number, website, whatever y'all need to reach out to Eddie Murphy. Uh, with hammerhead kayaks all the information will be down below and uh, yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video if y'all did like the video comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time